Title, The Great Depression. Maverick's in-depth exploration of causes, effects, and policy changes. Introduction. The Great Depression was a severe worldwide economic depression that lasted from 1929 until the late 1930s. It originated in the United States after the stock market crash on October 29, 1929, known as Black Tuesday. The Great Depression had devastating effects on countries around the world, causing widespread unemployment, poverty, and political instability. In this article, we will delve deeper into the causes and effects of the Great Depression, the policy changes implemented in response, and whether it could have been avoided under different circumstances. Causes 1. Stock Market, Speculation In the 1920s, there was widespread speculation in the stock market, as people believed that stock prices would continue to rise indefinitely. This led to a stock market bubble, with many people buying stocks on margin, borrowing money to buy stocks. When the stock market crash occurred in 1929, it triggered a chain reaction of panic selling, leading to a massive decline in stock prices. For example, the Dow Jones Industrial Average, a key stock market index, lost nearly 90% of its value between 1929 and 1932. 2. Agricultural Overproduction The 1920s saw an agricultural boom, fueled by technological advancements such as the mechanization of farming and high crop prices during World War I. However, this boom led to overproduction and a subsequent drop in crop prices, which caused financial distress for farmers and rural banks. Farmers were unable to pay off their loans, leading to bank failures and a decrease in consumer spending in rural areas. 3. Unequal Distribution of Wealth The economic prosperity of the 1920s was not evenly distributed, with the richest 1% owning approximately 40% of the nation's wealth. This led to a decrease in consumer spending, as the majority of the population had limited purchasing power. The widening wealth gap meant that most people could not afford to buy goods and services, which reduced demand and led to business closures and layoffs. 4. Decline in International Trade The Smoot-Hawley Tariff Act of 1930 raised import tariffs in the United States, which led to a decline in international trade. Other countries retaliated with their own tariffs, further worsening the global economic situation. For example, U.S. imports fell from $7 billion in 1929 to $2.5 billion in 1932, and exports declined from $5.2 billion to $1.7 billion during the same period. 5. Credit Crunch The collapse of the stock market and the wave of bank failures that followed led to a severe contraction in credit. As banks became more cautious with their lending, businesses and consumers found it increasingly difficult to borrow money leading to decreased investment and spending, which further exacerbated the economic downturn. 6. Ineffective Monetary Policy Prior to the Great Depression, central banks, including the Federal Reserve, failed to respond effectively to the economic downturn. Their adherence to the gold standard limited their ability to expand the money supply and implement policies to combat deflation. Effects 1. Unemployment The Great Depression caused widespread unemployment, with the U.S. unemployment rate reaching 25% at its peak in 1933. Millions of people lost their jobs, and many struggled to find new work. In industrial cities like Detroit, the unemployment rate reached as high as 50%. 2. Poverty The loss of jobs and income led to widespread poverty, with many families unable to afford basic necessities such as food, clothing, and shelter. Soup kitchens and breadlines became common sites in cities across the United States, as people struggled to feed themselves and their families. 3. Homelessness The inability to pay rent or mortgages resulted in an increase in homelessness. As many people were evicted from their homes and forced to live in makeshift shantytowns known as Hoovervilles, named after then-President Herbert Hoover. These settlements often lacked basic sanitation and were constructed from scrap materials such as cardboard, tin, and tar paper. 4. Decline in industrial production the reduced demand for goods and services led to a significant decline in industrial production. In the United States, industrial production fell by nearly 50% between 1929 and 1932, causing factory closures and further job losses. 5. Agricultural Collapse The overproduction of crops and the decline in demand for agricultural goods led to the collapse of the agricultural sector. Many farmers lost their land due to foreclosures, and those who managed to keep their farms faced plummeting crop prices and crushing debt. 6. Bank Failures 
The Great Depression saw a wave of bank failures, with over 9,000 banks in the United States closing between 1929 and 1933. As banks failed, people lost their savings, further reducing consumer spending and contributing to the downward spiral of the economy. 7. Mental Health and Social Issues The stress of unemployment, poverty, and homelessness took a toll on the mental health of those affected by the Great Depression. Rates of suicide and alcoholism increased, and families experienced increased stress, often leading to domestic violence and the breakdown of family structures. 8. Political Instability The Great Depression contributed to the rise of extremist political movements in Europe, such as fascism in Germany and Italy, and communism in the Soviet Union. The economic turmoil and social unrest paved the way for World War II. The Depression also led to the election of Franklin D. Roosevelt in the United States, who implemented the New Deal policies in response to the crisis. Policy Changes 1. The New Deal In response to the Great Depression, U.S. President Franklin D. Roosevelt introduced a series of programs and reforms known as the New Deal. These programs aimed to provide relief for the unemployed, stimulate economic recovery, and reform the financial system to prevent future depressions. Key programs included the Civilian Conservation Corps CCC, which provided employment through public works projects, and the National Industrial Recovery Act NERA, which sought to stabilize industry and boost employment. 2. Social Security As part of the New Deal, the Social Security Act was passed in 1935, establishing a system of unemployment insurance, old age pensions, and aid for the disabled and families with dependent children. This social safety net was designed to alleviate poverty and protect citizens from the economic hardships that contributed to the Great Depression. 3. Banking Regulations The Banking Act of 1933, also known as the Glass-Steagall Act, separated commercial and investment banking, and established the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation FDIC, to protect bank depositors. This reform aimed to prevent risky speculation by banks and protect consumers from bank failures. 4. Monetary Policy During the Great Depression, the U.S. abandoned the gold standard, which allowed for greater flexibility in monetary policy. This change enabled the Federal Reserve to increase the money supply and lower interest rates, stimulating borrowing and investment. 5. Labor Reforms The New Deal also introduced labor reforms, such as the Fair Labor Standards Act of 1938, which established a minimum wage and maximum work hours, as well as prohibiting child labor. These reforms aim to improve working conditions and prevent worker exploitation. 6. Public Works and Infrastructure The New Deal included significant investment in public works projects, such as the construction of roads, bridges, schools, and hospitals. This investment helped to create jobs and improve the nation's infrastructure, setting the stage for post-war economic growth. Could the Great Depression have been avoided? There is debate among economists and historians about whether the Great Depression could have been avoided. Some argue that better regulation of the stock market and a more equitable distribution of wealth could have prevented the stock market crash and subsequent economic downturn. Additionally, critics of the Smoot-Hawley Tariff Act argue that if protectionist policies had not been implemented, the decline in international trade could have been mitigated, reducing the severity of the depression. Others contend that certain factors, such as the agricultural overproduction and the inherent instability of the global financial system at the time, would have inevitably led to an economic downturn, even if the magnitude of the Great Depression could have been lessened. Furthermore, some suggest that a more proactive and effective monetary policy response from central banks, including the Federal Reserve, could have helped to mitigate the impact of the economic crisis. Conclusion the Great Depression was a devastating period in history, marked by widespread unemployment, poverty, and political instability. It was caused by a combination of factors, including stock market speculation, agricultural overproduction, an unequal distribution of wealth, protectionist trade policies, a credit crunch, and ineffective monetary policy. In response, the United States implemented policy changes, such as the New Deal, Social Security, banking regulations, Changes in monetary policy, labor reforms, and investment in public works and infrastructure, to mitigate the effects of the depression and prevent future economic crises. Whether the Great Depression could have been avoided remains a topic of debate. But it serves as a valuable lesson for policymakers and economists to consider when crafting economic policies and regulations.